Is there anybody out there that can challenge Apple in the CPU space, especially when it comes to their mobile devices? Apple, as we know, have been king of this area for quite a while now, ever since they started making their own silicone chips. But Qualcomm seems to be on the right path. And with their latest iteration, with their Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset, they are showing some serious promise and could be a serious threat to Apple when it comes to CPU performance. So in this video, I'm going to go over the latest benchmarks that we have from Qualcomm for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 that seems to mimic real world scenarios more than the first benchmark that came out. I'm also going to tell you when that release date will be for that and what device might be the first one to launch with that. But before we dive into all the juicy details, if you're new to this channel, and enjoy staying up to date with the latest tech news that you've landed at the right spot. Make sure you do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and hit that like button as well if you enjoy this type of content. All right, let's dive into all the details here. So, latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 benchmarks put it above Apple ships. Now, this is an article out of AndroidHeadlines.com. So, let's go through this article real quick. So we have some improvements that we're expecting from the Snapdragon chip. Uh, one of the key improvements on the SOC will be the new custom cores. Um, so after a few years, Qualcomm will once again implement its own CPU designs instead of the vanilla ARM cores. New cores known as Arion are also present in the Snapdragon X series that is for their ARM laptops. So these performance numbers that we have so far should give it a really big boost. That's the top of the Apple A17, the current chipset that is in the iPhone 15 Pro right now. Now the Apple A18 is expected to get a little bit of a boost that is coming in their next phone, which is coming out in just a couple months of this fall. So it's going to be interesting to see how this Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will handle or hold up against the A18 when that chip is dropped. But we don't know anything about that chip right now. So let's just focus on what we have right now and how this will compare to the iPhone 15 Pro and the A17. So uh, a little bit, a couple months ago, we did get some early benchmark information from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 and the numbers were very promising. But one of the drawbacks of that test or those early benchmarks was that it was not actually real world performance. And with this numbers right here, as you can see here, we have these numbers off the Gink Bit, the Gink Bench database. This is actually more realistic of what will probably be out there in the real world because you have to balance between the power and your power and your performance. So this is more than likely is going to be what it is expected to run in the real world. So in our single core here, we have the 2884, but we look over at the multi-core, which is very promising, 8840. Uh, score here on your multi course score. So if, if you're running gaming, you're running all your basically all your uh, mobile apps that you already run, like any type of video editing software, your browsers, any gaming, the multi core is definitely a number that you want to pay attention to. And from the judge of this right now, it is looking very promising that it will definitely probably be able to topple the A17. But once again, the A17 is one year old at this point. But how will these numbers um, hold up against the A18? For what I'm hearing right now, very early on, that the A18 is expected to be just a very small or nominal CPU performance over the 17. But we'll see once those numbers actually do come out for the the new uh, A18, which will probably be in the uh, iPhone 16. But um, in the gig bitch, it did not say that it was the actual Snapdragon, but there's a couple clues that we can get here. We know it's running the Android 15, uh, uh, then the motherboard Sun, Qualcomm, ARM V8. So looking at those, we're, they were able to just put together that, that this is more like the uh, 8 Gen 4 chip of that. So the numbers are looking pretty good. So another thing I want to cover is this device is expected to launch in October at Qualcomm's Summit. Now, this is the, the Snapdragon Summit, which is announced in Hawaii, expected to be between October 21st and October 23rd. So, more than likely, they will announce the chip there. So, we will finally be able to get all the numbers. They'll have some charts. Hopefully, they'll have some footage of it 
actually running games and applications so we can actually get to see it in the real world. But one of the key things as well is which device will be the first one to jump on board. And according to uh, this article right here, a report is that Xiaomi has secured exclusive first launch rights for integrating the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chips in its smartphone. So that will more likely be the Xiaomi 15 Pro is rumored to be the first headset uh, powered by it. Uh, other flagship smartphones will more likely be the Galaxy S25 and the OnePlus 13, which will not arrive until 2025. So Xiaomi looks like they will be the first ones to get their hands on that and put that out there in the market. And again, once this chip is actually released to the world, it'll be exciting to see how it holds up against the A17, how it will hold up against the A18. Not only that one, but don't forget about the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus chip out there as well. That is showing some great promise in terms of performance as well. So very good. Uh, so good news about the Snapdragon Agent 4. We're just uh, more than likely a couple months away from that, getting to see that unveil at Snapdragon Summit and in the Xiaomi 15 Pro. So let me know what you guys think about that. What do you think the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip is going to do? Do you think it will beat the 17 once it comes out? And can it hold up against the 18, the A18 from Apple when it is finally launched? Let me know down in the comment sections. Definitely want to uh, see what you guys have to say about this conversation. Thank you once again for taking time out to watch this video. Again, if you enjoy staying up to date with the latest tech news, you are at the right spot. Please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to drop a like as well. Also, if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech news, make sure you head over to the website soundsnerdy.com where I curate and aggregate tech news from around the web covering Apple, Samsung, Google, Android, computing, and even more general tech news all at the website soundsnerdy.com. And for even more tech news in video form, check out one of these two videos right here. And until next video, guys, stay nerdy.